Senator Sabanow, like many members of Congress, received her first COVID vaccine this weekend. Schools and mental health are two other big areas which will see benefits. CVS Health announcing tonight it is launching a nationwide effort to help vaccinate thousands of staff and residents at long term care facilities. That includes nearly 1000 facilities here in Michigan. Our Priya Mann joins us live at Priya. When will those vaccinations begin? Well, Jason Kim, the program starts next Monday. You know, I think we also saw those heartbreaking videos and pictures of loved ones kind of looking through windows at their family members in nursing homes. Well, this program brings us one step closer to keeping frontline health care workers safe and reuniting family members with their loved ones. We are excited about the state's rollout of the vaccination process. After healthcare workers on the front lines are vaccinated, up next will be seniors and staff members at long term care facilities. We're talking about vulnerable adults who are anxious to reconnect with their family members and their friends, and, and we are optimistic that we do see the light at the end of the tunnel in early 2021. CBS will be vaccinating the elderly and staff members at nearly a thousand locations across the state. There are roughly 5000 long term care facilities with about 200,000 residents and staff. Michigan assisted living says the goal is to have them all vaccinated by the end of January. It is unprecedented and it is a huge undertaking. There's no question about it without that partnership. Uh, this monumental task as it is would be almost insurmountable. How soon family members can see their loved ones depends on the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, but it's important to note that the state is not mandating the vaccine. This is the light at the end of the tunnel and by protecting both residents and staff through the vaccine, it will within the hopefully not too distant future allow for family visits into all these various settings. And CVS tax will start going into long term care facilities next Monday. Those facilities across Metro Detroit giving vaccinations to any resident or staff member who wants one. Reporting live tonight, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.